it's time to celebrate the first year of this project and congratulate the good people at Pilot Flying J for all they have accomplished, which was truly remarkable when you look at it in a big picture. Just a tremendous amount of work completed by the team at Pilot Flying J, considering all that they had to do in order to get these stations online. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened this past year. On September 20th, 2023, I thought it was eight, but I actually went back and counted. There were nine stations that simultaneously opened all on one day. And prior to this, we were starting to get check-ins on PlugShare of really nice looking sites getting built with canopies at Pilot Flying J. And then they started to put the GM branding on it and people started to connect the dots, realizing what was happening. But what we weren't expecting is for nine stations to open all simul simultaneously on one day, which are listed here. I visited most of them both prior to their opening and then after their opening because most of them are located close to me. The headquarters of Pilot Flying J is in Knoxville, Tennessee. So I went to that location, which I considered to be their signature location um, just south of their headquarters and many other locations uh, close to where I live. They had a goal of completing 25 by the end of 2023, which they achieved just barely, but they did achieve it. Uh, during that time, they also began a branding change. So they s had some canopies completed and also wraps on uh, chargers that they replaced. So I guess somewhere along the way, someone in a marketing department decided to change the name from Altium to GM Energy. And it has a lot more brand recognition when you say GM. People recognize GM. No one knows what Altium is. So that made sense. Pricing also went wild and then settled into a more reasonable rate right around an average of 58 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, later on this year in December, my wife and I are looking to take a Cadillac Lyric road trip from Wilmington, North Carolina on Interstate 40 to Los Angeles, California, using only these stations and the free EVgo plan that was provided to us when we purchased our Cadillac Lyric. So truly a remarkable achievement by the folks at Pilot Flying J. This project has really been a pleasure to watch. Again, the amenities, not uh, excluding the canopies, which everyone really seems to like. Uh, these locations are immediately off the interstate. When I say immediately, typically you could see here the interstate directly while you're charging. Uh, they also have food on property, either fast food at the Pilot or sit-down restaurants at the Flying J, and both of them have quick service, so kind of like a hot bar of um, quick service meals, pizza, you know, things like that. Incredibly clean restrooms. Everyone will attest to the fact that uh, Pilot Corp does a tremendous job of keeping the restrooms clean, very similar to uh, Bucky's, if anyone is familiar with the Bucky's. Also, if you want to take a shower and do laundry, you can do that because these are geared for long haul truckers in order to do um, their periodic rests. They have free Wi Fi throughout their entire property, not just inside the uh, convenience stores, but also around the entire property. They have Wi-Fi also at the charging stations. And most importantly, in my opinion, they never close. They're open 24-7, 365, and there's something called a New Horizons refurbishment where they're freshening up the interior and exterior of a lot of these locations. And even while they do that, they keep these places open because they're so critical to the ability of long haul truckers to just do their job. So these locations never close, which make them very safe locations in order to have a place to charge. And also, uh, the facilities are always available. So if you're cruising down the road at 3 o'clock in the morning, you need to stop to get a charge. These are perfect places because they're right off the interstate and they're always open. These are EVgo Extend, so that means the EVgo membership benefits are not honored. However, there is going to be uh, GM benefits, specifically the GM plans uh, that my wife and I are enjoying with the purchase of our Cadillac Lyric with free charging at EVgo are honored at these stations. Obviously, because GM is branded onto these stations, you would expect that to be the case. Also, there's going to be GM owner benefits of discounted charging rates similar to the Tesla Supercharger. Um, and also the ability to reserve stalls in route, very similar to the Mercedes-Benz charging hum. They also have Auto Charge Plus, which I really like. Uh, it's different from the ISO 1511A plug and charge at Electrify America, but um, similar in function. This is the map of the two, first 200, and we're very close to getting this. We're more than halfway to these pin drops being all completed, and I'll show you what those look like here in just a second. However, once they complete these 200, there's 300 more that will be coming after this. So it's going to be a very dense map of 500 locations once this network is fully built out. And 
uh, all those amenities available for EV drivers doing road trips up and down interstates. So really a positive thing to look forward to. We do have two new locations this update. I actually did this update a little bit early just as a result of the anniversary coming up. It wasn't really primed for an update, but we do have two. One in Saginaw, Michigan on Interstate 75. This is the northernmost location. We also have Tyler, Texas on Interstate 20, which apparently has been a highly sought after opening, and it is open. <clears throat> Nothing new in the spotted under construction map. However, I just want to take a moment to look at what they have done with the construction of this project. We've got two in California, Idaho. We've got uh, three in Wisconsin. All these dense ones in uh, Ohio and a whole boatload in Texas, not to mention the ones that are already open. We have all the ones that are already open in Texas down here, you know, just a, uh, four in Houston, and then up here, and then a couple in Dallas. And then we already have a bunch open in Ohio. So when you combine those together, is a pretty significant build just in those two states alone. But if you look at this map of the ones that are currently open, I want to point out that you could pretty much get a, I, I live, I'm this blue dot here. So I could pretty much leave my house in any direction and charge up using Pilot Flying J. And if I wanted to, if I started up here in Massachusetts, I could get all the way to Dallas using just these chargers. If I wanted to, I could go up to Saginaw, Michigan, and I can get all the way down. I might have a little bit of problem here in the northern portion portion of uh, Florida, but I can get to Tampa or Lake Okeechobee. And that's really saying something. That's a lot of real estate that they are covering. And specifically, this Interstate 40 corridor is what I've got my eye on. They've got multiple ones that are already open and a few more that are spotted under construction. If you look, all these right here are Interstate 40, which my wife and I will be uh, utilizing for our trip to Los Angeles. Right here is East, I'm sorry, West Memphis, Arkansas. And you can see there's four under construction in the state of Oklahoma with one already open on Interstate 40. There's Amarillo, Texas. There's right here in Albuquerque, uh, Winslow, and then there's another one in Arizona. We're going to go up to the Grand Canyon also. We're going to be spending our honeymoon, our, not our honeymoon, our anniversary night, our 25th anniversary night up at the uh, Grand Canyon, and then head on into Los Angeles after that. So this network has done a terrific job of just putting pins in the map, and it's easy for us to point at a map with some pins and have an opinion. But this is real work that these people are doing, these uh, guys and girls that are behind the Pilot Flying J project team. It's working with multiple different companies. So it's not only Pilot Flying J, it's also EVgo and General Motors who all have a say in this. There's the construction team, OWL Construction, and um, the utilities, the uh, permitting bodies, just a ton of things that they have to coordinate in order to get a pin drop lit. So uh, much kudos to them. I'm a big fan of what uh, they're doing, and I can't congratulate them enough. If we look on the Nevi, there is an update here as well. In the state of North Carolina, right here it says Warsaw and Candor. The state of North Carolina issued round one Nevi awards, and Pilot is uh, filling in two gaps. In order to go to round two, the state of North Carolina has to fill in some alternative fuel corridor holes. And uh, they were very clever in who they selected. And these two holes in Warsaw and Candor, uh, where Pilot uh, have property and submitted applications, helped fill in the gap. So they won those two awards uh, for North Carolina. I'm actually quite impressed with the way North Carolina did that. So that adds to the count of uh, total sites that um, Pilot has been awarded. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck so people can see all the canopy locations that have currently been opened or have been spotted under construction. Thanks for watching.